Well, switching gears now, Denver's mayoral election is likely headed to a runoff. Former state senator Mike Johnston is currently in the lead with about 25% of the vote. Former Denver Metro Chamber CEO Kelly Bruff follows with 22%. And then there's some separation you can see there. Lisa Calderon and Andy Rougeau uh, trail them by thousands of votes this morning. But some key dates to keep in mind. First of all, we'll get an update. Uh, the latest vote count at 2 o'clock this afternoon and then the results of the election need to be certified on April 20th. If the race goes to a runoff, which appears likely that election between Johnston and Bruff would be June 6th. And Mike Johnston joins us live in studio this morning after a very short night uh, <laughs> celebrating and then back up early with us this morning. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, what, what do you feel like it was about your campaign that resonated with voters? I think it was a sense of optimism and a sense of hope and a sense of change for Denver voters. I think they really want to see someone who can tackle the city's toughest problems and who has a track record of taking on really tough problems and delivering historic results. I think I've had the chance to do that. And I think speaking really to the challenges of homelessness in the city, of affordable housing in the city and of public safety, I think were really the most resonant issues for voters. So uh, after a celebration of sorts, you have two months to regroup and refocus for the runoff. What will be your focus there? Yeah, we're going to build a broad coalition all across the city and we'll keep doing the things we've been doing. We've been doing little meet and greets in people's living rooms all across the city, had more than 150 of those and had the chance to talk to voters directly about what concerns they have and how we can build a broad coalition to take this city that we love and make it better. On the topic of school safety specifically, uh, as East High School students return and, and there are walkouts planned across the metro, part yeah. of a nationwide movement about uh, gun reform, what would be your message to students and parents about school safety? Yeah, I've a, I'm a former teacher and I'm a school principal, so I've lived these experiences directly. I'll be there with these students this morning to welcome them back in. But I think what we know is there's more we can do. There's more we can do on changing the laws, including things like increasing the age to purchase a gun or requiring back, uh, background checks that we have, but adding waiting periods. But also, yes, if schools want to have school resource officers, they can. We know we also need more mental health. We also know we need the wraparound services to help keep kids out of negative peer groups long before they get into trouble. It's got to be an all uh, hands on deck approach. And I'd be happy to help lead that as mayor. Denver mayoral candidate Mike Johnson, thank you so much for joining us Thanks for having this me. morning. Uh, good luck to you in the runoff. We'll hear from his challenger, Kelly Bruff, coming up a little bit later on in our newscast.